good evening all of you hi good evening all of you today we will discuss about the uh, some key questions about the topic product quality review and its answer so we will discuss about some questions related to the product quality review today and then we will discuss about the their answers i understand that you may be following this product quality review you may be preparing this pqr since so many years but i definitely tell you here that you may be you may be not complying to the specific requirements and that is the reason today i selected this topic so without wasting time let us uh, go ahead with the questions what we are going to discuss so today also we are going to discuss three different questions so the first question is do we need to perform the statistical process control evaluation during pqr so is it mandatory whether we need to perform statistical process control evaluation or not that is what we are going to discuss with the reference to the guideline okay second is during trending for product quality review is it required to include results gathered from the previous pqr or previous period the question here is you know the basically many people will say the answer to this question is if we are manufacturing the limited batches maybe one batch or two batch Uh, less than three batches and all. In that case, um, uh, you know, um, uh, we need to consider the previous product PQR. This is what the answer many people will give. But what is the expectation by the guideline that we are going to discuss through this question? Okay. So please understand the question again that during trending the PQR, is it required to include the results gathered from the previous period? irrespective of the batches there is no any batches specified but what is the expectation of some guideline we will discuss about that third question is is it required for the responsible official of the site so who is responsible official who is maybe the management and all the uh, you know responsible official means the person contact details are registered with the uh, fda so that if any problem any communication with respect to the recall or any audit inspection communications are uh, given or communicated to that particular person so that person is a responsible official of the site the person may be his quality head or may be uh, plant head we do i don't know at this moment for your organization but my point here is you need to identify one person to the uh, for the fda and you need to share the email id and contact details of that particular person to the fda so that fda is going to communicate uh, to that person of that particular site so the point here is that person is the responsible official of the site so the requirement whether it is required that the pqr should be signed by that responsible person or responsible official of the site is it required to sign or not that we are going to discuss in some companies the responsible official is the management or the top management so what is the expectation whether management should sign on the pqr that we are going to discuss during this third questions hope these three questions are interesting so let us go ahead with the uh, answers but before going ahead just a disclaimer that whatever i am presenting it is exactly in line with the guideline i am uh, even sharing the guideline from which guideline i am answering this question so if you want to implement you need to refer the current guideline because the recording may be here for long period in the youtube so please re refer the current version of the guideline before implementation that is what the, uh, i recommend to all of you and now without wasting time let us move to the first question and the first question is do we need to perform the statistical process control evaluation during pqr and answer to this question is yes because in line with the pics guideline pics guideline this is the uh, requirement so what is the pics guideline requirement appropriate statistical analysis techniques should be used to review the data collected as a part of the pqr process capability study is a statistical method which can be used by manufacturers to establish if specification limits are set are appropriate like upper control limit and lower control limit whatever we have said whether they are appropriate with respect to the process or not it compares process information to the upper and lower specification limits it is recommended that cp or cpk values are targeted at 1.33 or above so this is the expectation of a pix guideline so i took it from the pix guideline so from here it is very clear that yes 
we need to perform the statistical process control evaluation irrespective of whether it is the api product or the formulation product if you are preparing the pqr you need to perform the statistical process control evaluation and uh, what is the purpose to establish the specification limits upper control limit and lower control limit both are set appropriate or not or the limits needs to be work out that need to be evaluated and second thing is uh, recommended that the value of cp or cpk should be targeted at 1.33 or above so it should be at least 1.33 or above that is the expectation of peaks guideline okay hope you are getting my point and uh, my voice is also clear to all of you further uh, you know as per fda what fda expects is the product quality review report should quickly let us know if the manufacturing process is under control so how you will come to know whether manufacturing process is control unless and until you perform the process capability so that you will come to know whether the manufacturing process is under control means within the exactly control limit or not so that is the reason even the fd also expects from this expectation that yes we need to perform the statistical process control evaluation why i took this question because many api manufacturer uh, says that no for api manufacturing why uh, why it is required to perform the statistical process control evaluation so that is the reason i presented this uh, guideline references in line with the fda and pix guideline okay hope this question is clear to all of you and now let us move to the next question next question also quite interesting during trending for product quality review is it required to include results gathered from the previous period so during pqr irrespective of batches now here no any batches are recommended here but whatever batches you are manufacturing whether you need to consider the previous batches data to consider the trending the answer is yes because these three lines are given by ema guideline so the why what is the expectation of ema guideline during pqr the trending can include results gathered from the previous period to ensure its robustness the reason is you know we are manufacturing the product since long maybe 4 years 5 years 6 years so there will be continuous some changes with respect to the operation parameter or slightly changes i mean to say not a, a key changes but a small changes in fda language or us language it is called a variability so which may not able to detect during the routine operation because normally the routine operation includes only the monitoring of the critical process parameters critical quality attributes the results within the specifications of upper and lower specification limit that's it but here the main point is what whether the by process is robust or not how i will come to know unless and until i consider the previous batches data previous year batches data so this is what the ema expects that we need to ensure the robustness of the product so that is the reason yes irrespective of number of batches whatever you manufacture you need to consider the data of a previous batches previous years batches so as to ensure the process is robust so that is the reason while preparing the or while trending the pqr it is required to gather the previous period batches data or previous period data hope you are with me and this is again in line with the guideline ema guideline you can go through the ema guideline exactly the requirement you will come to know same right hope this question is also clear to all of you if you have any questions on this you can put in the comment section i will again work out i will answer the different questions also or i will clarify your doubts okay third question is is it required for the responsible official of the site to sign on pqr so i already explained that who is the responsible official of the site so as per fda the responsible officials of the firm if they are not personally involved in or immediately aware of the actions like complaints recall return or salvage drug product and investigations conducted are notified in writing of any investigations conducted this is the fd expectations very clear again this is not only for finished drug formulation ap and all it is applicable for all okay because it is it is a requirement for 
ट्वेंटी वन सी एफ आर पार्ट टू वन जीरो एंड टू वन वन विच इज अ बेसिक जी एम पी फॉर एफ डी ए कंप्लायंस ओके सो एफ डी एक्सपेक्ट दैट दी पर्सन इफ द पर्सन इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन कंप्लेन रिकॉल रिटर्न और सालवे ट्रक प्रोडक्ट एंड इन्वेस्टिगेशन कंडक्टेड सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर हियर गिवेन सो हियर द पॉइंट इज समाइम्स वॉट हैपन द सीनियर पर्सन मे नॉट बी इन्वॉल्व इन द कंप्लेन इन्वेस्टिगेशन और मे नॉट बी इन्वॉल्व इन द ओ एस इन्वेस्टिगेशन और मे नॉट बी इन्वॉल्व इन द सम रिटर्न गुड्स एंड ऑल सो मे बी द सीनियर पर्सन मे बी इन्वॉल्व इन रिटर्न गुड्स और सालवेज ड्रग प्रोडक्ट एंड ऑल बट मे नॉट बी रूटीनली इन्वॉल्व इन द इन्वेस्टिगेशन और रूटीन इन्वेस्टिगेशन सो इफ दैट पर्सन इज नॉट इन्वॉल्व इन रूटीन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड ऑल दैट पर्सन इफ दैट पर्सन इज अ नो द रिस्पॉन्सिबल ऑफिशियल ऑफ द साइट कम्युनिकेटेड टू द एफ डी ए देन दैट पर्सन शूड हैव द सिग्नेचर वेरी क्लियर If that person is already involved in this uh, investigations and all, it is of no problem then, no, not a issue. But in some cases, what happened? Uh, small companies, the management, the contact number or contact details are given to the FDA. Who is the management person? Maybe managing director or director of the company. So basically, they are the responsible official uh, for that company. Now, in that case, what should do? so in that case also the it is very clear that they should sign on the pqr because as per icchq 10 quality management system this is a guideline for icchq 10 management management here management means senior management okay so management should assess the conclusion of periodic review of process performance and product quality and of the pharmaceutical quality system so the management should assess the conclusion of product periodic reviews of the process performance product quality and the pqs pharmaceutical pharmaceutical quality system so in that way the management should sign on the pqr because in the pqr the same thing is there product quality review right hope you are getting my point please go through these three lines huh? it is exactly taken from the icchq 10 quality management system okay pharmaceutical quality system so what is the senior management some definition is given by icchq 10 so i just uh, i thought that it will be helpful to you through this discussion so i put here the senior management means the person who direct and control a company or site at the highest level with the authority and responsibility to mobilize the resources within the company or the site and this is based on you know icchq 10 is based on iso guideline 9000 2005 so this is the definition is given in icchq 10 so i thought it will be helpful to take a clear decision so here the point is the responsible official of the site should sign on the pqr and second thing uh, the management if the management is the responsible person then management also should sign as per the guideline even the icch guideline if you are not dealing with the fda business or us business still the management should sign this pqr because normally the senior management will not be involved in day to day investigations and all correct the management means managing director or director in that case the icch q10 they need to comply because icch is the harmonized guideline so if you are not having a business with the us still you need to take the signature of a senior management okay hope you got my point this is what the uh, three questions and uh, answers uh, today i discuss if you have further any questions or need any clarification you please put your questions uh, in the comment section i will clarify you and if other than these three questions if you have some new questions also you put in the comment section i will prepare a separate session with the reference to the different guideline again i am telling you these are not my words these are in line with the reference to the guidelines different guidelines okay thank you thank you so much and ensure all time compliance thank you